Yo, what is up guys, it's Kobe here with another Call of Duty Ghost video. And in today's video, we're going to be covering the character customization system, what you can customize and all the different options you will have. So if you didn't see it already, we got a very small glimpse of the different customizations from the footage we got at the Xbox event. It didn't really show any details at all. It kind of just took us around a couple characters showing different suits and equipment and things like that. But nothing that shows us the actual system that they will be using in the actual game. Now what Mark Rubin said about the system is that you can choose the heads, body, helmets, gear to connect to who you are as a player. Now something that most of you probably don't know is that there is an online Call of Duty game that was solely released in China that was developed by Raven Software and since Raven is also a part of the team for Ghosts, it is extremely likely that we may be seeing something really similar to the character customization system that they used in China. So as you can see here, you have the ability to customize your head, the headgear, body armor, flak jackets, knee pads, gloves, boots, even eyewear, which is pretty cool. It's not really full customization because you are limited to a certain amount of options, but it's obviously way more than we've ever had in a past Call of Duty. Now, like I said before, this isn't necessarily exactly how it will look on Call of Duty Ghost, but this sort of system could definitely be used. So, assuming something close to this type of system will be used in Ghost, a big question is whether or not it will affect your character's actual performance, or if it's purely cosmetic. So, if it's purely cosmetic, then I personally won't care all that much to customize my character, especially because it is a first-person shooter, so you don't even get to see your own character. But if the changes affect your player's stats, like your max health, your speed, your health regeneration, swap time for weapons, things like that, Obviously, it will add another dynamic to the game. Another thought that I had was if your choices of gear kind of replaced perks and wild cards, maybe one allows you to carry more grenades, one allowed you to carry two primary weapons, something to that extent. Now, there's no information suggesting that, that was just kind of a thought that I had. But let's say, no, the character customization is totally cosmetic, it has zero effect on your character's stats and performance. There's still one problem that I could see happening, and that's people being confused of who is on what team. You know, we're all used to one team being SAS and one being Spetsnaz, for example, and that makes it easy for teams to be distinguished. One team looks one way, and the other team looks another way. But since you're going to be able to customize your character, I think they're going to either have to do it like Halo or Ghost Recon. So in Halo, you can customize your character, choose different armor, visors, things like that. And in the game, you are assigned a color, which makes it easy to distinguish each team. Obviously, Call of Duty won't go red versus blue, but something of that nature could be possible. Another option is the Ghost Recon way, where you customize your loadout for two different teams, so that way you can still customize everything to your preference, but still have no confusion of which team is which, and what player is on what team. So whatever team you are assigned to, you'll use that custom loadout that you've already prepared for that certain team. So that could definitely be an option as well. But what do you guys think of all this? I do want to remind you that this footage is from the free-to-play Chinese version of Call of Duty, but like I said, Raven Software, who is working on Ghost, did create this game as well, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the same elements are in both games. But as for the functionality of the character customization, whether it's purely cosmetic, or if your choices actually affect your player and his stats, let me know what you guys think, or what you'd prefer. Would you rather just be able to customize your player and not have to think about anything else and what it could affect, or would you enjoy the extra dynamic of added strengths and weaknesses of your selections? Also, we have yet to see female character in Call of Duty, so being able to choose a gender, you know, there's still no confirmation on anything regarding that as well. But yeah, just let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm going to be reading through all of those. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. All your support has been awesome. And I will see you guys next video. Peace.